Now, President Biden has introduced the first image to be shown publicly from the James Webb Telescope, the largest and most powerful ever launched into space. The James Webb Space Telescope keeps handing us cosmic report cards. And let me tell you, the grades just shattered the curve. It's not just a minor adjustment, it's a cosmic wrench thrown into our understanding. Galaxies that look older than the universe itself are showing up in every deep field we take. This isn't just an anomaly, it's a paradox staring us in the face. Either our cosmic stopwatch is broken, or the Big Bang was not the first day of school. What if the story of our universe, the one we've held for decades, is simply wrong? Let's talk about the specific culprits. Look at Jade's GSZ-14-0. Its redshift is about 14. For context, that means we're seeing it just 290 million years after the nominal Big Bang, a mere blink in cosmic terms. Yet, its starlight is already rich in heavy elements. Its mass rivals today's Milky Way globular clusters, and it is pumping out ultraviolet light like a galaxy that has had billions of years to bog up. It's like finding a fully baked, multi-layered cake just moments after the first seeds of wheat were planted. Then there's MOM Z14, another spectroscopic heavyweight. It shows the same chemical fingerprints we expect from structures 10 times its calendar age. Standard Lambda CDM homework, the bedrock of modern cosmology, says no way. The simulations predicted tiny faint smudges at this epoch, not fully-fledged cities of stars. Webb isn't finding one outlier. It is finding dozens, then hundreds. This isn't a fluke. The anomaly is trending. These are what some astronomers informally nickname universe breakers. Cosmology is, at its heart, a story of timing. If you compress our universe's 13.8 billion years into a single calendar year, the first galaxies should barely be visible by mid-January. Instead, Webb is handing us glittering galactic metropolises before New Year's brunch. This forces two ugly, unsettling questions. Did structure formation cheat the speed limit? Or did the cosmic clock start earlier than we thought? Either option rewrites the textbook. Rapid star formation channels, supermassive black hole seed theories, and dark matter assembly hierarchies are all screaming, recalculate. This isn't a small anomaly. It's a discovery that could unravel everything. Entire research programs now pivot on whether the simulations missed crucial physics or the universe handed us a preloaded cheat save file. Before looking into the chaos, we have to understand the order it threatens. Picture everything matter, radiation, space, time packed into a single, ridiculously hot point. Then it expands. Think of it less like an explosion and more like a loaf of raisin bread rising in an oven. The dough is space itself, and as it expands, the raisins, or galaxies, are all carried away from each other. For 380,000 years, it's an opaque plasma fog. Then, atoms form, light breaks free, and gravity begins its patient, bottom-up process. It's like building a Lego castle, one tiny brick at a time, pulling clumps together. Galaxies are born. The cosmic microwave background is the flash photo of that liberation day. From there, expansion stretches space itself, and we measure distance and time using redshift. The farther the galaxy, the more its light waves stretch toward the red. The story feels tidy, elegant, and simple until Webb finds mature toddlers at the far end of the sandbox. Redshift is not a speedometer. It is a tape measure stapled to expansion. A redshift of 14 means the universe has stretched about 15-fold since that photon left. We are seeing the galaxy as it was 290 million years post-bang, but we are also seeing how much stuff has already happened. The profound surprise, the true impossible part, is the chemical richness. Stars fuse hydrogen into helium, then helium into carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. 
To get nitrogen to carbon ratios like mom Z14s, you need multiple generations of stars living, dying, and spraying metal-rich ash into the next stellar nursery. That normally takes giga years, not mega years. It's like exploring the first hominid settlement and finding a skyscraper with the lights on. Either the first stars formed insanely early and died in a flash, or the universe recycled material from a previous epoch. What if the Big Bang was not the starter pistol, but merely a relay handoff? This question leads us to some truly radical theories. Cyclic models propose an endless succession of expansions and contractions like a cosmic lung breathing in and out. Each cycle ends in a crunch or a gentle turnaround and then bounces into a new Big Bang. This Big Bounce concept suggests our Big Bang was not the beginning, but a transition point in an eternal cycle. Early versions of these models struggled with a fundamental problem, entropy. Every lap adds disorder, making later cycles longer and bigger, eventually leading to a universe too dilute to form new structures. But contemporary brain world pictures, like those proposed by Steinhardt and Taroko, use dark energy to dilute entropy across higher dimensional boundaries, essentially resetting the track for each new race. Under this view, the supposedly impossible galaxies could be relics, Structures that formed in the waning eons of a previous cycle survived the bounce and simply kept growing in the current round. Roger Penrose, a Nobel laureate, tweaks the rules even further. In his Conformal Cyclic Cosmology, CCC, the far future of one eon, when all black holes have evaporated and only massless radiation remains, geometrically resembles the Big Bang of the next eon. Because massless particles do not experience time the way we do, the infinite stretch of one eon can be conformally stitched to the compressed birth of another. It's a mind-bending idea, creating an endless chain of universes. Each eon potentially carries scars or gravitational ripples, perhaps even information or imprints from its predecessor. Those scars, those echoes from a prior existence, might seed abnormally massive structures early on, exactly what Webb is spotting. The idea is highly speculative, but it makes a testable prediction. Concentric rings of unusually uniform temperature in the cosmic microwave background, dubbed Hawking points. Some analyses claim to see them, others remain skeptical. Either way, the tantalizing match to Webb's data is enough to bring these fringe ideas back into core conversations. On the other side of the debate are the defenders of the standard model. They argue that while the findings are shocking, they don't require us to throw out the entire Big Bang framework. Instead, the problem is with the fine print details of early universe physics. Could we save the single Big Bang picture by simply cranking up star birth efficiency? Maybe dark matter halos collapsed faster or feedback from supermassive black holes compressed gas more effectively. The Big Bang still explains the vast majority of cosmic observations. These early galaxies aren't universe breakers, they are assumption breakers. This camp is scrambling to figure out what fundamental processes we've misunderstood. Simulations are retrofitted with new recipes, top-heavy stellar initial mass functions, stronger magnetic fields, and streaming velocities between baryons and dark matter. A particularly tantalizing idea is that primordial black holes, existing from the very earliest moments, could have acted as gravitational seeds. While gas would have pulled together slowly on its own, these pre-existing black holes would have been cosmic magnets, rapidly pulling in vast amounts of gas and accelerating the formation of the first stars and galaxies around them. Early results can grow bigger galaxies faster, but they still lag the observations by factors of 3 to 5 in mass and metal content. The ball, for now, is back in observer's court. Find still earlier, still weirder galaxies, or refine the physics until the simulations reproduce reality. Every time we redraw the timeline of the cosmos, we also redraw the odds of existence. This isn't just arcane astrophysics. It's a cultural inflection point as profound as Copernicus moving us out of the center. If cycles stretch backward forever, personal notions of beginning evaporate, and our current universe is just one verse in an eternal refrain.
If rapid formation is the norm, life-hosting planets could have started 10 billion years before Earth, multiplying the chances for civilizations far beyond our own. Either answer reframes humanity's place in a much grander, possibly eternal narrative. It compels us to confront a profound mystery, shattering our complacent understanding of our cosmic origins. Webb is scheduled to spend hundreds more hours on ultra-deep fields, pushing redshift boundaries toward 20 and beyond. This journey is just getting started. Meanwhile, next-generation simulators are adding radiation hydrodynamics, dust chemistry, and individual stellar populations into their GPUs, attempting to catch up with Webb's astonishing discoveries. Within two years, we will either witness a flood of even older, more impossible galaxies, or watch the revised simulations finally converge on the data. If convergence fails, if the standard model can't account for what we're seeing, then cyclical and conformal models will move from fringe seminars to core conference sessions. A single spectrum from Z toward 20 with mature metals could tilt the seesaw irrevocably, rewriting the universe's autobiography for good. If you want front row seats to the universe potentially rewriting its own autobiography, hit subscribe and ring the bell so an algorithm made of this universe matter brings you the next data drop. Comment below, do you bet on faster astrophysics or a cosmos with previous seasons? The James Webb Space Telescope is not just breaking records, it is breaking the narrative that the Big Bang was the first and only curtain rise. Galaxies too mature, too soon, point toward either hypercharged physics inside a single cosmic act or a drama that is staged encore after encore long before our current performance. Every new deep field is a ticket to that show, and the next act might reveal that we are living not in the universe, but in the latest verse of an eternal refrain. And the most thrilling part? The journey is just getting started. If you thought the universe had a clear beginning, surprise! It might have had prequel episodes. Hit subscribe before these ancient galaxies sue us for spoilers and ring that bell because space is getting way too weird to miss.